students, uh, welcome to part 3 of uh, Principles of Mathematical Induction. Uh, we're going to be going over two examples um, here. So, it's right on the title of these notes, so uh, Principle of Mathematical Induction. Induction. Okay. All right, so let's take a look at number one. Uh, this, these, the ones I'm going to do are, these are examples. Actually, these are examples uh, three and four. The previous clip had examples one and two, so uh, I'm just going to call this example three. Uh, prove that, prove that one plus five plus nine, plus dot dot dot, plus 4n minus 3, equals n times 2n minus 1, for n greater than or equal to 1, okay? So, um, let's go ahead and start with the base case. So, for the base case, we have to show, we have to show, uh, Oh, sorry, you have to show uh, true true for n. It should true, actually it should true for n equals 1. Alright, so that's what the base case is. Um, so for the base case, uh, showing true for n is basically showing that S1, S1 is true. That's what we're going to try and show here, okay? So to show that S1 is true, we just simply plug in uh, 1 on the left side and the right side so we arrive at an, at an equation, at an equality, okay? So we're going to have 4 times 1 minus 3. Is it equal to 1 times 2 times 1 minus 1, is it? Simplify this side, we have 4 minus 3, which is 1. Is it equal to 1 times 2 minus 1? Is 1 equal to 1 times 1? Is 1 equal to 1? Absolutely. So the base case holds. Now we're going to move on to the uh, inductive step, okay, inductive step. So on the inductive step, uh, what we're going to do in this part is basically, um, what we're going to do is we're going to show, we're going to show, we're going to show, um, show that true for n follows uh, true for n plus 1. Okay? If we can do this, then we're done. Alright? So we're going to start out with the um, inductive hypothesis. Inductive hypothesis. What we're going to do here is we're going to assume uh, that the statement is true for n. Okay, so assume true for n. Alright, so let's go ahead and write that down. Um, assume, assume true, true for n. Okay, so if we assume true for n, what is that going to look like? Basically, we're just going to write that, well, we're going to show that Sn is true by assumption. Alright, so what we're going to do, we're going to assume, assume, of the original statement, 1 plus 5 plus 9 plus dot 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 plus 4n minus 3 is equal to n times 2n plus 1. We're going to assume that this statement is true for n greater than or equal to 1. Alright? Now, the next thing is the proof. Okay? So in this proof, we need to show that uh, the inductive hypothesis follows that the statement is true for n. Okay, so uh, uh, show show that the assumption which we made before, the assumption follows uh, that n plus 1 is true. Okay, SN plus 1 is true. 
All right, so in this case, we need to show that S sub M plus one is true. All right, so let's do that. Uh, what we're gonna do here, uh, we're gonna rewrite this statement using M plus one. So what we do is, you see this piece right here, we're gonna bring it down, one plus five plus nine, plus dot dot dot, plus four N minus three. Now we're gonna add on the next term, which is four parenthesis N plus one minus three. Notice I replace this n with n plus 1. And on the right side, we're going to have n plus 1 times 2 times n plus 1 minus 1. All right? So all you do is you bring down the left side and you add on the next term, which is what you get by replacing n with n plus 1. And on, on the right side, you simply substitute n plus 1 for n on both ends. All right? Now, if you look at this one on the left side, this whole piece right here can be substituted, right? Based on inductive hypothesis, uh, this whole piece right here can be substituted. This whole thing, uh, term right here can be substituted with n times 2n plus 1, based on our assumption. So we're going to replace that with, um, with n, <coughs> n times 2n plus 1, minus 1, sorry. And then we can start simplifying this side, all right? So we're going to have 4n plus 4 minus 3 equals n plus 1. And in this one, you distribute it to 2n plus 2 minus 1. All right? So from here on out, it's algebra. If we can make both sides equal, um, then we'll be done. Okay? Uh, so we're going to have, distribute the n here. We have 2n squared minus n plus... 4n uh, plus 1. And then here we're going to have n plus 1 times 2n plus 1. Simplifying further, combining both like terms here, we're gonna, going to have 2n squared plus 3n plus 1. And then we just want to just follow it out. So we're going to have 2n squared plus n plus 2n plus 1. And then just bring this down because it's completely simplified. 2n squared plus 3n plus 1 equals 2n squared plus 3n plus 1. Alright? Basically, the left-hand side is equal to the right-hand side, which is exactly what we want. So, write a closing remark. Uh, since uh, truth for n follows uh, that uh, n plus 1 is true, n plus 1 is true. It's true. The original, the original statement is true for n greater than or equal to 1 or all positive integer values. Okay, so that's basically the end of the proof. All right. Okay. Let's uh, go ahead and try uh, try another example. Um, example two. Let's get the page. Uh, example four, actually. Example four. Uh, we're gonna prove in this case prove that uh, prove that um. 1 plus 4 plus 7 plus dot 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 plus uh, 3 n minus 2 is equal to n times 3 n minus 1 over 2. Okay? Prove that this is true for and greater than or equal to 1. Okay, so that's what we're going to try and prove here. Alright, so what we're going to do, um, we're going to start out by writing down the base case. So for base case, uh, we need to show that the statement is true for n equals 1. So base case, uh, show uh, true for the first positive integer value, which is n equals 1, okay? So we need to show that s1 is true. So how do we do that? 
simply plug in one to the left side and the right side, or you can just take the first term here for the left side and then plug in one here. Let's do the long way. I'm going to plug in one on both sides. So 3, plug in one here. 3 times 1 minus 2 for the left hand side. The right hand side, is it equal to 1 times 3 times 1 minus 1 over 2? Okay. Simplify. 3 minus 2 is it equal to 3 minus 1, which is 2. 1 times 2 over 2. 3 minus 2 is just 1. And then this is just uh, 2 over 2. So it's 1 equal 1. Absolutely. So our base case holds. And now we can now move on to the inductive step. Alright, so inductive step. Uh, inductive step, uh, what we're going to do here, as we did in the previous problem, is uh, we need to show. Uh, let's write that down. We need to show uh, true for uh, n follows true for n plus 1. Okay? Alright, so the first part of the inductive step is inductive hypothesis. Inductive hypothesis. Um, so for the inductive hypothesis, what you're going to basically do is uh, um, you're going to um, assume true for n. Okay? So we're going to assume that the statement is true for n. Assume true for n. So basically what we're going to do here is just basically state that um, s n is true. So how do we how do we do that? Uh, just simply rewrite the original question. State assume that that is true. So we're going to assume assume that statement um, one plus four plus seven plus dot 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 plus three n minus two uh, is equal to n times 3n minus 1 over 2 for n greater than or equal to 1. Alright, so we're going to assume that that is true. Now, uh, oh, I, I didn't write it down, so assume that is true. I need to make it obvious. Is true for n greater than or equal to 1. Now, we need to move to the nice part, which is a proof. So in the, for the proof, uh, we must show show that the assumption this assumption we made over here follows that uh, n plus one is also true. All right, so let's do that. So we just need to show in this case that s n plus 1 is true. So how do we do that? Uh, what we do is first of all bring down the left side 1 plus 4 plus 7 plus dot 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 plus 3 n minus 2 and then we need to write down the next term which is plus bracket 3 n plus 1 minus 2 and then on the right side you plug in n plus 1 and n plus 1 here. So you have n plus 1 times bracket 3 n plus 1 minus 1 oh, oh. bracket oh sorry let me let me write a bracket over there uh close that divided by 2 so what did I just do over here and uh, what I did in essence was um, on the left side bring this down replace n with n plus 1 here on the right side, just directly substitute n plus 1 and these two variables right here, alright? So now we're going to try and make uh, these two equations equal, and then that will accomplish our goal, okay? Alright, so on the left side, this piece right here, based on our inductive hypothesis, we know it is equal to n times 3 n minus 1 over 2. So let's go ahead and write that down. I'm going to make the substitution and make it uh, right in blue. Uh, this whole piece is going to become n times 3n minus 1 over 2 based on our inductive hypothesis. Alright, so plus, plus, and then start simplifying. We're going to have 3n plus 3 minus 2. 
Okay. And on the right side, we have n plus 1. Simplify that further, we're going to have times 3n plus 3 minus 1. And then that whole thing divided by uh, 2. Okay. On the left side, distribute n. We're going to have 3n squared minus n over 2 plus 3n plus 1. Okay? We can put this over 1. And on the right side, we have n plus 1 times 3n plus 2. That whole thing divided by 2. Okay? Alright, now on the left side, this one we need to times it by 2 top and bottom. Times it by 2, times it by 2. Alright, and then we're going to have a uh, 3, uh oh, wrong pen. We're going to have um, 3n squared minus n over 2 plus 6n plus 2 over 2. We have the same lowest common denominator, that's why it times is by 2 top and bottom, so we have the same LCD. On the left side, we can start distributing, we're going to have 3n squared plus 2n, plus 3n, plus 2, uh, that whole thing divided by 2, okay? Alright, uh, so now let's simplify. So on the left side, we combine the top, so we're going to have 3n squared, minus n plus 6n, minus n plus 6n, plus 2, and then that whole thing divided by 2. Notice I'm adding in a lot of steps here just so that you understand. You can skip all the steps. I'll make it so I'll make it for you. Okay, on the right side you have 3n squared plus 5n plus 2. Uh, and then that whole thing divided by 2. Alright. Now let's uh, simplify the final part. The left side on the top, you can see it becomes 3n squared minus 5n, actually plus 5n plus 2. Uh, that whole thing divided by 2. Um, equals 3n squared plus 5n plus 2 over 2. Okay, excellent. So basically we have that uh, the left hand side is basically equal to the right hand side, which is exactly what we want. So a concluding remark, since uh, truth for um, n follows uh, that n plus 1 is true. The original statement the original statement the original statement is true for n greater than or equal to 1, which is basically all positive integers. Okay? Alright, so um, thanks for paying attention to this uh, presentation. Um, you can subscribe to my videos for future updates, and if you want to see all my clips um, organized, you can go to mat.serve.blogspot.com. Okay? Have a good day.